right guys, so we are in Hannah's room. Uh, I've told some of you it is just an empty room right now. Uh, there's a steam cleaner. <laughs> and we had to throw some stuff in her closet so it's a little messier than last time we saw it, but those will all be moved out once we start inhabiting this room again. Here's some paint supplies we bought and the box from my diaper bag and my paint setup. So what I'm doing today back from Home Depot. <laughs> what I'm doing today is um, trying to figure out what pink to use. So I went to Home Depot first and um, I pulled a bunch, a bunch of cards. And these were the two cards I ended up liking. Um, let's see. Uh, sometimes this camera is annoying. Alright, so it is um, Bare Paint and this back card with the two S's is 130C and this front card is 140C. So you can see by where the S's are, those um, stand for sample. So we've got three samples, they're right there. Um, this dark one is Raspberry Lemonade and then the middle tone is Cafe Pink and down here is My Fair Lady. Um, My Fair Lady has a little more peach tones to it um, whereas these are a little dustier. So, um, so this is a window where the light comes in and uh, this is where the, the wall that the crib is going to be on. You see there's some architectural detail right here where it kind of nooks in so that will be where the crib is. We painted uh, a color in our living room and it looks really different in the corner. Um, it's affected by the sunlight. So I wanted to paint um, in the corner to see what it would look like on both of these walls. So we got, uh, let's see, whoop, Raspberry Lemonade, Cafe Pink, and uh, da -da -da -da, My Fair Lady on the bottom. So there's the door, the closet, and this wall is going to have, um, it's a shorter wall, it's just going to have the changing table on it. So I painted them. Again, it is Raspberry Lemonade, Cafe Pink, and My Fair Lady. So you can see that this one is a little bluish and purple, whereas this one has more um, orange tones to it. And the dark is uh, its probably my favorite right now, actually. We're only going to be painting from um, like four feet up. The bottom is going to be white. So that's why a dark color doesn't scare me as much. If I was painting the whole wall, I would probably go with My Fair Lady right now. Um, and then I also, when I went to the store, I also brought my bag of sneak peek, sneak peek fabric um, that I'm going to be using in her room. So that is what I'm doing. Um, I really encourage you guys to invest in these little sample cans. Um, my husband is a Home Depot guy. Some people are Lowe's people, my husband likes Home Depot. So we do bare paint and you get a little color sample and uh, one of these, I think they're like 59 cents for the tiny little brushes. The nice thing about this is that before you invest in the in the giant gallon can, you can kind of see how the paint is reacting. Uh, let's get a little closer. Then again, this thing isn't zooming worth crap, but um, you can kind of see the raspberry lemonade, since it's so dark, it dries a little weird and it's definitely going to need two coats. So that's a good thing to know before you invest in the paint, that you might need a little more than you think. Whereas the two lighter tones seem, seem to be drying a little more even. So uh, there you go, and I guess I'll tell you which one I pick in about 24 hours. Bye guys. There's this over here too. The middle one. Really? Well, I don't like the middle one over there though. Well, look at it like this. You got that. Yeah. Or that. Yeah. Or that. This one? Oh, the left one. You like this one? Yeah. I think that one's too dark. Okay. I mean, I don't like this one at all. So you like the bottom? I like, I like this one. 
That's the one I don't like. You don't like that one? No. You and over there, you don't like it? Yeah, it's alright. You like the darker one? Yeah. You're not afraid that it's like too dark? It's, it's only going to be dark from here up. So you don't like that one at all? Eh, whatever. It's your choice. It's your baby. You can do what you want. <laughs> Mm -hmm. It might mix things up. I mean, I that looks okay. Yeah, that matches that one the most. And I don't really like that. I think it's too blue. And I like. I think that one looks really nice. Okay, then let's go with that one. So it's either the dark one or the light one, and I'm just afraid the dark one's too dark. Then go with the light one. Well, I'm afraid the light one's too light. Uh, then go with the middle one. I don't like the middle one at all. Ah. Uh. This is what I put up with every day. Every day. Christopher. <laughs> and you love every second. I love every second of it. Alrighty, so we have wiped down the walls to get rid of any spider webs or anything like that. And uh, we've taped off the trim down to about four feet which is where we're going to have the pink and the white separate. You'll see that later. And um, we've painter taped the roof, the window, around the closet. And then we removed all of the outlet plates and uh, taped off those. So we marked off a uh, a line at four feet, painter taped it, and then I did a quick coat of white paint over the paint samples that we chose not to go with so that you wouldn't be able to see them under the lightest pink color that we decided to paint. So now I'm going to let these, uh, the white paint dry that I just splashed up on there in a nice thin coat. I'm going to go down and help my husband um, get ready to cut the boards and then we're going to paint pink on the top and white on the bottom. Alrighty, so I just popped the top on the paint and I want to show you the color we decided to go with. La, 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 la. It's not nearly as impressive on the camera as it is in person. <laughs> um, we decided to do um, My Fair Lady from Bear. Uh, we did it in a satin finish. Yes. And uh, it looks like I need to stir it up a little bit because there's some pinkage going on around here. Anyway, so that is going to go up on the top. And as you can see, it's the lightest of the three that we sampled. All right, I'm going to get to painting. So here is the first wall. Um, obviously, I need to cut in on the edges. But I wanted to show you... We have plastic down on the ground. I want to show you the difference. Um, this is obviously the sample square, and this is where I just painted. And uh, it's definitely going to dry darker than it is right now, but I'm so excited to see it. It's really hard because this wall is opposite of the window. The window? So it's getting uh, the glare of the sun, so it's really hard to see if I like missed a spot. And combine that with the satin finish. Uh, it's gonna be, it's hard to see if there's any white. So, uh, yeah. So anyways, first wall done. I just have uh, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more walls to do. Alrighty, I'll show you later. Bye. It is definitely pink. <laughs> My neighbor's dog howling again. This is uh, one of the nice things about being tall, is that I can do my fair share of painting and paint the top half, and I can pretty much reach the ceiling. Um, I just don't want to roller pink on the ceiling, so uh, that's why I'm leaving a gap. But anyways, so I can paint the top half, and then my husband can be the one that bends over and paints the white half, because I don't feel like it. Um, those of you that have watched my craft room video, this is the multicolored drawer stand thing, I don't know, cart, that is down in my craft room, but it's also like perfect, absolutely perfect for holding the paint. 
so I don't have to bend over and I don't have to worry about spilling it and stepping in it and all sorts of stuff. So it's a multi-use cart. Every time we paint a room, we use it. This is the completed paint job. Um, two coats of pink, two coats of white, and two coats each of um, all the little touch-ups and trim. You'll see that there is the original paint color visible between them. That's going to be covered up with woodwork. Chris actually likes the way it looks, but I said no. <laughs> so anyway... Very excited. The next step is going to be very labor intensive, but uh, I hope you guys like it.